My name is Martins Okoro. I am the MD of Wifu Services Limited. I'm a fellow the Nigeria Association of Technologies in Nigeria. I'm Daniel Mambo. Okay, uh, my name is Anita Mr. Michael. I, I came here all by myself. And my company sponsored me to this training. I need to get more knowledge and skills required for me. Well, I found out that there was a youth arrest in the country, and uh, I also found out that uh, there's a gap in technical skills in the oil and gas industry. And because of this gap, I decided to take a booster to bridge the gap, to bridge the gap in the in these technical skills. And one of them. I find out was that uh, we are losing a lot of hands to the international community, especially the UAE, United Arab, and the West African countries, because of the skills of people in Nigeria. So as soon as we trade them, they take off to other countries to our work. So I decided to bridge this gap to also build the capacity of our people in the oil and gas world. So generally, that is one of the things that gave me a plan to start this school. Number two, I also find out that I have pleasure and passion in impacting people, leaving them with something that can help them in their life. I was served uh, some years in the oil and gas industry, and I feel at this point in time, I should be able to give back to people imparting them, giving them part of the experience which I've acquired over the years so that they'll be able to stand on their foot. Number three is to have continuity in this field of engineering that, that uh, exists in the oil and gas. Because I find out that if we don't do something like this, we cannot see people like us in the oil and gas in the near future. Uh, we started this training school roughly five years ago. And uh, as of today, we have trained not only less than 160 students that pass through this training school. I can confidently tell you that about 60% of these students are working outside Nigeria. Why about 20% are working in Nigeria? And what I mentioned initially, we try to balance theory with practicals. So usually anyone that passes out from this school can go straight to the field and begin to work. So, as soon as you finish from this school, you are employable in the oil and gas industry, the area of surface when testing operator, or you can even be a production operator in a process facility. So, because here we try to expose you to practical in one week for you to be able to identify the equipment, know how it works, and if possible, operate some of them. So the rate of employment at that school is about 80%. So, so good. That would be wonderful. With the teachers that we got from the classroom, so we really come to appreciate uh, them here. When we are seeing all the equipments that were being taught in the classroom, physically here on, uh, on the training ground. This week we are now in the facility, getting our hands dirty, doing the practical work. And, uh, we don't just uh, show the students that we and leave them alone in the field. Uh, part of what we do is that as soon as you finish from this training school, we have a group that you join. And as you are working, if you have any challenge, you post it on the WhatsApp group. Within five to ten minutes, our students from the world working in various places will tell you what to do. So we still follow up after the training to get more information on where you are, what you are doing, and the challenges you are having in your present job. As far as you can read and write, you can start from the lowest level of this training, which is uh, the wet test operators training, and up to even a graduate or anyone that wants to have a career change in this field. You are eligible for this training. Yeah, we have some institutions that usually come here, especially uh, their students come here before they graduate.
to be exposed to part of the things they do in the classroom. Institutions like uh, IPS, the Institute of Petroleum Studies, for that part. Their students come to this facility before they graduate and we take them uh, on a tour through our facility and also try to run uh, through with them some of the things they did in the classroom from oil exploration to drilling, production to processing and uh, we try to discuss together. Also we have students from the University of Science and Technology, now River State University, they also come here on a tour for experience. We are also affiliated through Petan. We share and we train their interns. And we made remarkable uh, progress in this or success in this. Some of the students we train are working in Belama Oil. Some are also working in some other uh, companies, uh, renowned companies in Nigeria. So that is why you need goggles. You need to protect your eye when you are doing anything that involves hammering or anything. Uh, what I mentioned earlier, I have passion to impact the young people, sharing my experience and the knowledge I've gained over the years. So I love seeing people who knows nothing about wet testing coming for training. And after two weeks of contact with me, I put value in them and make them to sell the oil and gas. So I'm happy to see people with nothing becoming an operator as they are leaving the training school in two weeks. And people usually ask, is it possible when they come in and they can beat their chest at the end of the training that it's possible and they made it. The instructor has been very, very uh, explicit in his lecture. Yes, he's a wonderful man. He's well experienced. Uh, meeting my instructor, he's a very uh, knowledgeable person. He's very good in this. He's very experienced in the field of oil testing. He has everything. You know, at the top of his finger. Yeah, the future plan for this training school is not to end in oil gas. I want to identify all the gaps we have for technical skills in Nigeria. Looking at the mechanic, the automobile mechanics, we went from the uh, carburetor to injectors, and today we are talking about brain bus, brain bus now, brains, vehicles. And find out that most of the cars we buy in Nigeria are damaged by mechanics. So I'm also trying to see how I can develop other uh, technical training areas, uh, like uh, automobile and even uh, instrumentation and control and some other courses. And apart from that, I'm trying to work with MBT. I've applied to them, Nigeria Board of Technical, Technical Education. I've applied to them to try to develop a curriculum for surface weight testing and some oil and gas courses. The advice I have for the young ones is that uh, when they graduate from school, no matter the course of study they take in the school, they can actually do what we call a career change. Come to this uh, training school, acquire some skills, which is what some white boys usually do overseas, and uh, they will take job. Secondly, to parents that encourage their children coming down to sit down at home where they give them fish to eat. There's an adage that says it's better to teach a child how to fish than to give him fish to eat. I will advise give them money to come and attend this training. And at the end, they will get a job and they'll be fishing for themselves to eat. And I want to tell them finally that what they see on ground in this place can be compared to training school in Slum Paris, compared to training school in Halliburton, of, uh, Halliburton in, in uh, Montrose, and also Tritar Training School in Dundee. So, I use those standards to put up this kind of uh, training facility so that you can have hands-on on the job as you pass through the training. Thank you. Okay, this is the way. So our task 
uh, crew for, uh, to rig up uh, from this way here to the SSV. So yesterday we were able to rig up from this point to this point. Yeah. Like you can see, we have about three apples that we use. One, two, and three. So um, we've learnt a lot, a whole lot. The experience is so, is so real. You know, it's as though you are actually uh, in the field. I've really taught me a lot. I've learned a lot during this process. I've learned, I can see we are doing the practical now. I appreciate my company for sending me here and Mr. Martin Sokoro for bringing me up to speak. Yes, sir. So I'll recommend the training. I'll recommend uh, well fleet uh, mega service limited.